Yo, what up guys, Bricks 5D here and I'm currently logged into the Noob to Pro. This is day 152 and we have a tough decision to make in this video. We are kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place and I'll explain further as we go along. I'm talking about our new clan boss champion, unkillable champion that we pulled in the last shard pool video, Demeter. A lot of people, a lot of people pointed out in those videos that yes i do have enough or what it takes to build an unkillable team that means the demeter comp you remember all you need is actually one demeter right with some other key champions and i do have the other key champions who is a seeker and also a high cartoon or a speed lead or um Deacon armstrong in this case i have a high cartoon as the speed lead so demeter seeker high cartoon are the three ingredients that is needed to build that meat seeker team and me Checking it out on Deadwood's Jedi uh, website showed me that, showed me the speed that I needed, showed me that Demeter is the one that has to be at 276 and all that. So I was looking forward to actually building this team for this um, um, Noob to Pro series and so that we can finally start getting good books and shards also from the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. Remember right now we can do two key nightmare and it's time we move forward to um, one key or two key ultra nightmare status so i was looking forward to that when we pulled the demeter but we have to hold on and i'll show you something else so we can see what i'm currently comparing this with so we have what it takes to build that comp you've seen it we have the champions and we have the gear but we also pulled a cv in the last shard pool video so does that mean that we should no longer book our cv with our best speed gear that's what I mean by we are currently stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because you know that the best gear for Sifi early and mid game is speed. You don't really need resistance. You don't need that to be going second or third. You need that to be the fastest champion in your team for this level of uh, clan boss. I mean, for this level of ar arena that I am, that is gold one, gold two, gold three, or maybe gold four. Sifi is the fastest champion in the team, especially when you don't have a uh, Abita right now. So I was thinking of. Moving all the speed gear I currently have on High Cartoon to CV, which is currently at 284. And it will make CV about 300 maybe. I don't know because her basic uh, uh, base speed is really, really high. So I was hoping to do that. But before I made this transition, I decided to record this video to ask you guys your opinion. Should we build CV for the arena or do we spend this speed gear we currently have on the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team? Because Definitely the speed gear we have on this account is not enough to build a arena um, speed champion and also have a, some excess left over for a clan boss team. So I'll after the video is ended or tomorrow, I'll actually take a look at how much speed gear we have left after I put what I have on Sifi because I kind of have to decide. <laughs> I couldn't make the decision myself. That's why I put it out there for you guys to decide. So if I go to substart right now and I do speed and I check out, I mean, it's, we still have some good speed gear, but they are mostly five star gear, not a lot of six stars. Or I don't have a lot of triple rows. It's just one rows and all that. So I don't know if what I have is enough to make the clan boss team work, but I'll try it and all that but if you guys decide that Sifi is the one that should have all the best speed gear we'll go for that if you guys decide that clan boss ultra nightmare clan boss is more important than having a speed booster go very very fast in the arena then i'll also settle for that and build my um clan boss team seeker high cartoon and um demeter with all the best speed gear because that's really what they need if I'm a high level or end game player, I might not even bother because I have enough speed artifacts for all these teams I'm talking about. But right now, I have to decide between these two. Arena team or a clan boss team, an unkillable clan boss team. So the other two champions I'm hoping to put in the um, team is, what's her name now? I'm not building an Harris. I think this team doesn't, this um, comp doesn't require an Harris. But if that's what I'll have to do, I'll do it. But I'm currently looking towards the champion that is already built and complete, Fane. That's another champion that I'm hoping to add to this team because of her decreased defense and weaken. 
and we also have Rising, but he doesn't bring poison along with his decrease defense and weaken so he just brings all the decrease defense and weaken but if he does more damage than Fane, he might come in of course they are both different affinities so i'll be switching them out another key component of the team that i'm looking to add to the team is what's his name muslim mate because the team does requires you to have a block um debuff um, block um debuff buff when um you are getting stunned so you don't get the stun on any of those champions that are key Demeter, Sika or High Cartoon. so you need a, um, somebody to block the debuff so you don't get stunned I guess so I'm looking forward to building this team I've never built it on my main account so I'm kind of intrigued I'm used to building the double monitor teams right or the um, budget money money uh, budget budget on killable teams I'm used to building those ones but um, this is the first time I'll be building a Demeter team just doing the research and looking what others have done about it it's so intriguing how one champion can make an unkillable work of course she requires two or three other champions to be in the team but she is the key champion where is she she is the key champion that it that is required to make it work and i'm currently pushing her to level 40 as you see and she'll be soon be a five star and getting um to six star immediately as soon as possible now somebody did point out in the comments also that she does require a lot of books and i should start saving my books for her so let me quickly take a look at that only two skills oh shit! <laughs> i spoke too soon i said only two skills and then it requires it does require a lot of books that's a lot of books right there so yes that's a lot of epic books that will be saved for demeter because she does require all this to be booked for her to do her job i guess but it doesn't seem like this one is needed to be booked though this is just shield damage shield damage i think it's this one that is the main thing that should be booked this one has no cooldown over here i think this is the main skill that should be booked all right i'll be saving all my epic books from now on for demeter and also i'll be farming the dragon a lot more so we can have um more speed gear available because i feel like that's the main thing we will be lacking to reach those numbers that is required to build the team you need the numbers if you can't read this, these numbers then you don't even want to worry about damage i don't care if i even two kids or three kids i just want to be able to hit these numbers so i will have to head back into the dragon 20. currently we can't do 23 24 25 dragon yet else it will give us more opportunity to get better dragon gear but we're still farming 20. so i guess it's dropping a lot of trash a lot of five star and we will make it work finally on the note to pro so until then you guys let me know what you decide what you think is best for the um, noob to pro should we focus on the arena with sifi or should we be you know okay we are currently doing nightmare should we just be fine with doing nightmare i can also build a normal and um, ultra nightmare team when the gear is available because Ryzen is still getting books into him all right that's the update i wanted to give about the noob to pro what we are currently up to we have to decide about those two um the arena her reset has happened and i did fall back to bottom of goal two after climbing almost reaching goal three for missions we are still farming the uh, great hall i mean they are still farming gold medals from the great hall we are still trying to get 500 a total of 700 is what we need to beat the next arena no, the next um, Abita mission that says upgrade a great hall um, bonus to level seven i think so we are currently on that mission and that's why we're trying to maybe build sifi so that mission can be a bit easier because i feel like we'll get more rewards from farming gold three rather than gold two but we need sifi for that we can come into that with a um high cartoon all right for the um team the new team that i'm lo looking to build which i also require some input if you guys have some experience with it i'm looking to build a team that looks something like this because we say high cartoon has fallen off she's no longer her fastest speed booster right now in the team this fastest champion we have right now is a 24 percent speed lead with this champion and we're not currently going to use this champion for anything special than just this speed lead position that's why i'm currently trying to take him to five star and that's i think as far as i will go with this champion but hey if you guys think it will be better to build him as a full nuka with the level 60 and all that 
if we have the time and nobody to take to 60 we will do that jung- jingle hunter because it would be a while it seems before we get a better speed booster but i don't know how close we are to the abita missions because taking this champion to 60 and then all of a sudden replacing him with abita in the arena you see makes no sense right that's why you usually don't want to take them to 60 because you have a better speed booster coming along your way so that's why i'm gonna leave it at 50 i guess for now so he will be my speed lead right now and the next champion i'll have there is of course um sifi and now i have to choose between decrease defense champion like this one and a nuka like this that is the comp or i go this way remember we already have this champion ready a provoke champion for some more security molly and this dude so what do you think <laughs> this one looks more scary with three legendary sitting right here why this one looks a little bit more damage worthy because we have the decrease defense um out here already the other one doesn't have decrease defense but i don't know if this champion that requires us to place provoke will do more damage than the champion that places decrease defense out there so i'll have to try this and see how much what's his name roba actually does compared to my filger i've been saying i'll compare both of them but we are still not there yet in terms of the builds for roba he has still not been built we're still getting sidetracked with other things that are going on in the account so yes speed lead position is secure um there's nobody that will get a cp and not use her in the arena that would be crazy so it's just these two other positions that i have to feel let me know in the comments below which one do you think will be the most damage and which one i should focus on roba and a provoke which will increase his damage or decrease defense and a nuka the old-fashioned way all right um what else do i have, want to add to this noob to pro update video yes the in a few hours time clan quest will reset so if you head over to your clan quest right now make sure you've picked up the ones you need to and finish them don't just take quest you can't finish so i have done all three of mine for the week and i'm currently sitting at 1400 um 1480 and uh, clan gold right here i wanted to save it for this video and see so you can see how i'm spending it and see if we can get something good also for in terms of um, um banners that's what i actually need banners that's a ring no i need a banner actually that's a banner demon swan banner which is kind of good though that's a ring no that's another banner dwarfs banner that's a six star amulet awesome another five star ring nope that's a legendary six star amulet <laughs> we're getting good stuff six star amulet again that's a five star shadow king banner and that's the last one all right we'll quickly head over to my gear um, accessories and find out if any of them are worth keeping i'm looking for speed substat on the banner of course that would be awesome let me quickly sort out for just new ones that's an attack banner it's not useful at all we got two green tribes one right here ring and amulet crit damage one is useful and it has attack roll over there that's useful um check over here that's attack come on what's with all this attack ring this is defense and hp with four no that's a bad one also defense is kind of good i guess attack <laughs> oh this is bad this is bad one because there's not a lot of champions on my account that needs attack as um, their main start for amulet um ring or banners now this is accuracy which is good but it doesn't have any speed roll but we'll still use it because we are kind of still early game another attack banner so we kind of got <laughs> a lot of attack main stats without getting a lot of defense hp or speed uh, sub rolls over here so but still this is better than what i'm currently got getting in the spider so i'm happy to be getting these ones also that's all the update i have for the noob to pro remember my question about um the champions that we are going to be building should we focus on pushing ultra nightmare 
clam balls and forget about the arena for right right now why because the arena will soon be easier right we are waiting for the next patch to come up when the arena missions will be much much easier we will no longer have which gold for which you know but we we'll still have those missions that requires us to farm a lot of um, gold medals that's where i think cp will make that really really easy if we put all that speed into her we'll not be losing a lot of battles and we'll be farming all those great hall gold medals really really fast so let me know in the comments below i'm looking forward to your feedback hit that like button subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next rage shallow legends video good night guys